Hey Churro Q collectors, I picked up this old classic Churro Q of an old classic van called the Citron H. Uh, there's actually no date on this thing, meaning this must be from the first wave. I think this is literally casting number 12 from Churro Q. Uh, the screw was missing, I had to throw in my own screw in there. Uh, talking about this uh, vehicle, since I don't have one in 164, the Citron H uh, and many early Citrons are really revolutionary. This thing was made between 1947 to 1981. It was front-wheel drive. It had like a 1.9 <coughs> liter engine, so it wasn't a speed demon. But it had a unibody construction, meaning it wasn't a separate frame. And then a lot of cars in the 40s, well, definitely commercial trucks and stuff, would have a separate frame usually. But the unibody could actually hold a horse inside of it. It was that strong. And so it used corrugated siding, as you can see in these photographs. Maybe not the toy. And so it's really cool. I mean, uh, I kind of would live in that van. <laughs> I would live in the van by, down by the river. Okay, so, yeah, just throwing that out there. If anyone... Well, anyways, uh, let's go with the toy here. So I was thinking of restoring this, but it's so old, uh, and it still has some chrome work here that hasn't vaporized. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. You know, I don't want to... There's a certain patina to old toys that maybe it's just best to leave it be. You know, clearly this thing's been played with and abused. It's literally like ink or something on this thing. What I like about these really old trochus, it literally has raised lettering for the Dunlop tires there. And also the wheels look pretty good, actually, for their time. This was a Japanese Coca-Cola delivery truck, I think. You know, this livery. This is literally a sticker. <laughs> it's not a Tampo brand. It's not a decal. It's a paper sticker. And it's still st stuck on. It's pretty amazing. The windows, I think, are just really dark smoked plastic. You can see a little bit of light getting through, or at least I can. There's a coin holder back here because these are pull wind-up toys. And the motor still works. But if you put a coin back there, it'll do a wheelie. Not much of a wheelie because it's bottomed out, but it can do a wheelie. So yeah, indication of some sort of weird door. And it just says street fan back here on another sticker again. Uh, nothing on the top really. Yeah, it's just an old classic toy of an old classic fan, as I mentioned. So yeah, I, I guess I'll just leave it alone. I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm not going to modify it. So what other vehicles are there? Chorokyu has this little Toyota delivery van called Quick Delivery. And this one has a race car livery on it. It's from Toys Dream Project number two. I think that might be a set of toys. Um, there's a different brand called Tiny, Tiny Q and they make superior deformed wind-up toys. Uh, you'll see this is their basic line called Uno. But it is a licensed product. It's got treaded tires. Uh, but it actually has opening doors, which is interesting. Not that I care about that so much. But there's an interior in there. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not easy to open the doors. Hold on here. Got the uh, dental pack. So the seats and stuff and the table in there, right? So much more effort going in from the tiny queue. Even panel details here on the inside of the door. Right? And then so it has a rack and a surfboard and stuff with a wood sticker or something on it. And it's got rubbery mirrors. Very cool. Yeah. And then it's transparent crystal uh, like headlights and taillights in this case badging. Anyways, this, <laughs> sorry, this is, we're not talking about the, this, I reviewed that before. But it's just so superior to what Choroku does today. And Choroku's latest line, or best line, is called the Zero line. And this is Zero, uh, number 46. It's a Renault 4 Fourganet, I think it's called. Fourganet? I'm not French. So, you know, it has painted headlights. Uh, right, it's paint, no mirrors. It's just it's nice, but it, these coin holders are stupid, really. They just block the view. Tiny Q doesn't have that silliness to it. And then the tires just look very slab sided. They look worse than the old classic Choro Q tires. <clears throat> Here's another zero. 
I've 3D printed my own wheels for. There's a Nissan Caravan or something. Yep, Nissan Poster Buddy here. And yeah, so same same deal, right? It's it's nice, but it's just it, they could do a much better job. If Tiny Q can do it for better and cost less money, the Takara, Tommy Tech, whatever, they're just ripping people off. I think. All right. They weren't thinking about ripping people off, I guess, when they made this very first thing. So, here's a little miniature Santa Claus. It looks like something he would drive. So, it's really nice. A little vintage toy. Nostalgia, I guess. Um, one question I have for people that collect realistic vehicles. Norev, that diecast company, makes a 3-inch version of this Citroen H uh, van. But Norev isn't always 164 scale so if anyone has that norev i couldn't find photographs of the bottom can you tell me if it's really 164 or does it not have a scale written on the bottom because i i kind of want to get this now in a realistic form factor because i think it's a cool looking van thanks for watching guys see you in the next Q video